everyone and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. New Year's Day is almost here and traditionally a lot of people like to enjoy pork and sauerkraut. But I know not everybody likes sauerkraut, so today I have the perfect side dish for you to eat with your pork dinner on New Year's Day. It's my mom's halushki. So halushki is a simple side dish made up of cabbage and pasta. It's very common in Western Pennsylvania where I live. Like for example, during Lent, if you go to a fish fry, you could get french fries on the side, macaroni and cheese, or halushki. So today I'm gonna to share with you my mom's special recipe. I also wanted to let you know that I have an incredible recipe for pork and sauerkraut. You make it in your slow cooker. I'm gonna leave that for you in my description box below if you wanna go a little more of the traditional route. I also have a couple other pork recipes that I'll leave for you down below too. I started by prepping my vegetables. So I had one large onion that I cut in half and then sliced thinly. And then I also had one head of cabbage and I took out the core and then sliced that into thin strips as well. I added four tablespoons of butter into a large nonstick skillet and then cooked the onions for several minutes until they had softened and started to turn brown. Also, while they were cooking, I seasoned them with a little bit of salt and pepper. While the onions were sauteing, I also cooked my cabbage in a large pot of boiling water for about eight minutes. Oftentimes you'll use wide egg noodles in halushki, but my mom likes to use farfalle or bow tie pasta, which is why she calls this dish cabbage and bows. So while the veggies were cooking, I brought another pot of water to a boil, added some salt, and then cooked my pasta according to the package directions. I drained my pasta and my cabbage and added them both into the sauteed onions. I seasoned everything with salt and pepper and then stirred it to combine. Now you can stop here if you'd like, but my mom likes to add a couple more tablespoons of butter and then continue to cook this until the edges of the pasta get crispy and golden brown. So this process is similar to cooking hash browns where you sort of spread everything out in the pan and just let it sit for several minutes until the bottom layer gets a little bit crisp. And then you'll stir it around and do that again. Let it cook for a while until it crisps up and it's going to be so delicious. So for me, this took about 15 minutes total. I had my heat on medium high and every few minutes I would stir it around until the noodles were beautifully golden. Halushki only has a few ingredients, but it has such incredible flavor and makes the perfect side dish. Now on this particular night, I was serving this for dinner as our main entree. So I cooked some bacon in the oven, which by the way is the only way you should be cooking your bacon. I have a video about this that I will link for you below. It's incredible. So when I served up the halushki, I sprinkled some crumbled bacon over top and it was fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my mom's halushki recipe today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes. Happy New Year!